Have you ever thought about how you can improve the way you animate things in After Effects? Have you ever thought about using the graph editor but never really tried because maybe it looks a bit complex? Then my friend, this video is for you. Because today we will dive deep inside of Speed Graph and understand how Speed Graph works and how you can use it to your full advantage and take your animation game to the next level. With that said, I am Nikhil from dopemotions.com and without any further ado, let's jump into After Effects and let's take a look at the speed graph. Alright, so here we are in After Effects and here I have a pretty simple composition. You can download this free project file from the link in the description below to follow along with this video so that you understand the concept more easily. So right now here I have a pretty simple animation of a line which animates from left to right over the period of 30 frames or one second. So at frame zero, the position of this line is set to 96 on the X axis and as the line is animating only on the x-axis we will focus only on the x-axis as you can see the y-axis is still throughout the complete animation so at frame 0 the x-axis is set to 96 and at frame 30 the x-axis is set to 865 so i'm telling after effects that on frame 0 i want my line to be at this particular point in the x-axis and at 30 frames or one second, I want my line to be on 865 on x-axis and in between those frames, you calculate everything. So to visualize the frame of this animation or this line, I have created a simple setup. You can call this as guides. So every line represents every single frame. So we will use this as a guide to understand the animation. So right now, the line animates from left to right. And it animates in a linear fashion because the keyframes are linear. The diamond icons of this keyframes represents linear keyframes. Linear keyframes has a constant velocity and there is an equal amount of distance travel between every single frame. Now, usually if you are a little bit familiar with After Effects, to make our animation smoother or to smooth out the animation, what we usually do is we select the keyframes we right click, go into keyframe assistant and easy ease those keyframes or we simply press F9 that is the shortcut. And now you can visualize the way it's tweaking an animation or line animation basically. So at the start and at the end, the line frames or the guides are closer to each other which represents that the animation is starting slowly and then it accelerates and then it ends slowly. So basically our start and end is slower and the animate accelerates or increases in the middle of time, that is 15 frames. But now let's say what if we want to tweak the animation in a much different pattern. So what we need to do is then we need to jump into graph editor. You can jump into graph editor by simply clicking on this icon. Now there are two types of graph editor. One is value graph and second one is speed graph. By default, After Effects may recommend you to switch to value graph. So if you are in so if you are so if you want to switch from value graph to speed graph, all you have to do is right click and select edit speed graph. Yours must be edit value graph. So you can easily right click and switch to edit speed graph. Now these two points in this graph editor represents our keyframe. So our first keyframe is on zero frames, our second keyframe is on frame 30 or one second. The mountain curve that you see right here is measuring pixels per second over time and tells you how fast the line is moving from a specific point of time. As you can see right over here, it says 1000 pixels per second. Now on position property, it measures pixels over time. On the rotation property, it will measure degrees over time and on the scale property, it will measure percentage over time. But over all those property, the value that it actually measures is the speed. Speed graph is telling us how fast the object moves between the keyframes. So if I simply hover over this, 
you can see at five frame it's telling me that the line is moving at 655.15 pixels over every second but as we move forward the speed of that line increases and as you can see the mountain starts to get a bit more curvy and higher so right over here at 10 frames the speed has increased to 1027.13 pixels per second now if we want to tweak the speed we can simply select this point and that is going to enable the influencer handle that you see right over here and using this handle we can tweak the way the line animates if i tweak this right over here now if i preview this you can see it starts slow and then it accelerates high so we have changed the way the line animates basically we have tweaked the spacing keeping the timing same as you can see we have not changed the time the time is still 0 to 30 frames but the way it changes its animation is using the spacing because we are tweaking the spacing of the animation and not the time now let's try to understand what is timing and what is spacing timing is the distance between the keyframes that is why we have a stopwatch icon right over here to create keyframes spacing is all those frames in between those two keyframes so all these frames that you see in the white lines that is the spacing now if i want to change this keyframe to linear keyframe again i can simply select them hold alt and click on them and now it's a linear keyframe when keyframes are linear the spacing is perfectly even between every single frame but when we select the keyframes and hit f9 or easy ease it the spacing becomes different so i can easily change the way it animates so we are basically again tweaking the spacing of the animation and this is the way you can create complex looking animations you can change the way the animation feels so basically when we change or tweak the graph we are affecting or changing the spacing but as you see the timing hasn't changed we can use the influencer handle and increase the speed right here so i want my animation to start at 2000 pixels per second and then if I want to tweak this just like that and now the animation it's gonna start super fast and then slowly become slow at the end so using the influencer handle I can easily tweak the complete graph now you're in the example too you can see the timing is exactly same but the spacing is different and that is why we see a huge difference between both the animations as you can see the first one is a linear animation and the second one is an eased out animation so that is a wrap for today guys i hope this video helps you understand the speed graph and how it works using the timing and velocity if it did then do like this video and if you want me to create more such videos going in depth on such topics then do let me know in the comment section below you can also follow me on instagram at dope.motions and I will see you guys in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative.